Hello, good evening. Hi, people, are you there? Good evening, teacher. On time. Hi. Hi. What's up, man? How's everything? I'm just getting getting home, man. <laughs> it was a long, long, long day today. So, but we are here, like just just to finish, you know, with this uh class from from this week. That's pretty cool. So, how was how was your day, people? How was your day? Was it difficult? Easy. Very very raining. Uh, really? Is it raining there? Todo el día ha llovido casi aquí. For real? Is that in San Salvador? Yes. Ah, oh, I didn't know that because here in Oriente, man, it's not. It was not that much. I thought it was. It was. It was like in here in San Salvador, man. But that's cool, man. That's cool because uh, in that way, I mean, you don't feel like hot to say like that, right? That, that's 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 great. Aquí amaneció lloviendo y siguió lloviendo casi todo el día. Fui a Saltepec igual y como tipo dos de la tarde ya se quitó, pero todo el día llovió. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And... <laughs> como que tenemos un gatito traviesa allá en el en el fondo de de Carla. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we're going to start people with the things for the ones who are in the house already done. Uh, please turn on your cameras. I want to see you. Ah, thank you, Raquel, for turning on the camera. Now I can see you. That's cool. That's nice. Ah, and Carla too, right? Carla got with the Michi in the back. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, okay, William, you continue working. All right. So uh, let me pass the attendance list. Just to start, people, give me one second. I'm going to put this. So we are going to continue. Let me see. Andres Joel, is he here? Mm -mm -mm. Andres, Andres. Nah, man, Andres is not here. Okay, Carlos Mauricio. I think Carlos continues. He continues six. Cindy Melanie, not here. Ah, uh, Stephanie Michelle. Ah, she says that she's on the bus. Okay. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let's move. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay, not here. Let's move. Joanna Sarai. Ah, okay, cool, Joanna. Okay, all right. So you're going to be a solicitor. That's cool. Ah, uh, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Let's move. Ah, uh, Jose Edgar. Okay, he's not here. Let's move. Juan Emanuel. Ah, uh, Juan Emanuel, are you there? No, okay, he's there, but uh, you don't listen to him. Ah, uh, Julio Cesar. Julio, okay, Julio's not here. Karen Beatriz. Hmm, Karen, Karen, all right, she's not here. Ah, uh, Carla Lisset. Present. No, okay, good. Let's move. Raquel Stephanie. Raquel. Uh, what's Present. <laughs> what were you doing, man? <laughs> es que no quería poner micrófono. Come on, Raquel. <laughs> All right. Veronica Lee. Present. Nah, okay, good. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Nah, okay. Nice. Let's move. William Ernesto. I am William Squalkin. Xiomara Elizabeth. 
No, okay, William. Xiomara, Xiomara. All right, she's not here. Let's move. Carlos Josue. I'm here present. Okay, cool. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. I mean, but this, this, this person is no longer continuing, I guess. He, he didn't connect. Okay, to the class. Okay, cool. So let's start with the things that we are going to be working on today, people. Listen up. Today, we have a very interesting topic. Uh, yesterday, we were talking also uh, about a very interesting topic, but today we're going to be, you know, like continuing with that, with that. Give me one second. I'm gonna, just going to put something in here. Okay, I'm going to make this shorter in order to put it in here. Okay, perfect. So let's start with a brief thing, uh, remembering what were we doing yesterday. But now I'm going to put the presentation from the beginning. So in that way, we can start, you know, with the topic on time. And in that way, we can finish it, you know, like that kind of impossible. No, Okay, good. Very responsible person, man. Good. Okay, cool. Let's continue. So, people, this is the video conference the number eight. Let's remember that today's topic is going to be simple past statements and just no questions. Right. So yesterday we were talking about a very interesting topic, right? That it was related to the simple uh, present, if you remember. And now we're going to be talking about the simple past. Okay. So, but let's start with those things related to yesterday's class. What were we discussing yesterday, people, in the class? What was the topic that we were discussing? Let's just start with that. What was the topic that we were discussing? Can you please tell me what was the one that we were practicing? Okay, I don't know who, who sent it, the text message, but I'm gonna say yes. Okay, cool. What was the topic from yesterday? ¿Cuál era el tema de ayer? So let's see if you remember para los que estuvieron en la clase. Simple present information question. No, okay, simple present present. information. Simple present information questions. Yeah, I mean that was that was the one, right? That was the uh, the topic that we were discussing yesterday. Simple present information questions. And what is an information question basically? Remember, if we put look at this, if we have a structure like this, look. The W equations. Exactly, in which we put up the WH word uh -huh. plus, okay, the auxiliary verb that in this case, remember, the auxiliary verb can be the verb be or it can be do or does, all right? After that, we need a subject. After the subject, we need the main verb, okay? And after that, we need a complement. And after the complement, it goes the question form. So this is the whole structure to create information question. Okay. For example, if I say, look at this. Where do you work? So this is an information question. Why is it called information question? Because in this case, I am asking about one specific place where we do an action, okay? In this case, we are asking about one specific place, okay, where we do an activity. Básicamente acá es para pedir información específica. Recordemos que cada WH word es básicamente para pedir cierta información específica. Entonces, toda vez que vamos a hacer una pregunta, 
eh, siempre hay algo específico que preguntar. En este caso, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? So you see, uh, you can say, I work in a shop. So let's put car shop, like this. I work in a car shop. So in that case, this, this part is basically answering the question or answering the main thing from the question that in this case is the location from where we work, okay? Now, another general word, uh, a general uh, question that we can use is like, what do you do? What do you do? Especially when you uh, are doing something in your job, right? What do you do? In this case, you can basically say, what is your function inside the company? For example, what do you do? I write reports and send them to the boss, for example. Ah, escribo reportes y los envío al jefe. So you see? So this is one, one possible answer to this. Recordemos que en este tipo de preguntas con what y con do, dependiendo de la acción que yo haga, así va a ser el verbo que vamos a utilizar. En este caso estoy utilizando el verbo write y el verbo send. Ok, pero acá podemos escribir una infinidad de eh, eh, respuestas para este tipo de preguntas. What, uh, like, what do you do? I am in charge of the person. You see? I am in charge of the personnel. Ah, estoy a cargo del personal. So you see, I check. Give me one second, guys. I check the different departments in my company. So you see, in this case, depending on the action or the function that you do, That's the verb that you will use. Entonces, dependiendo de la acción que nosotros desempeñemos, así va a ser el verbo que nosotros vamos a usar. ¿Sí ven? Tenemos diferentes tipos de respuesta a esta pregunta que tenemos acá. ¿Ok? So, you see, this is the way how we uh, work with this type of structures, right? Entonces, así es como trabajamos con este tipo de estructuras. Eh, y como les mencionaba, ahí... Ustedes son libres de escoger la WS Word que ustedes deseen al momento de hacer una pregunta, ¿ok? Con information questions. ¿Cuáles son las WS Words más comunes que nosotros podemos ocupar en este tipo de preguntas? What, what time, where, where uh -huh, when, who, which, who, ¿ok? Whose, why. And even who's, para ser con uh, posesivos, exactly. So you see, you have a variety of, of ways that you can do that. Entonces hay una gran infinidad de formas en las cuales nosotros podemos hacer eso. Inclusive para mostrar clasificación, podemos poner what kind of. You see? And here you put a vocabulary. You see? So this is the, 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 the way how we... Create questions. Entonces, estas son las WS words que por lo general nosotros podemos utilizar para hacer preguntas, ok, usando, uh, digamos, e esta estructura llamada information questions, right? En la cual nosotros damos información específica, el tipo de información que se nos pide, ok? Let's do one last example. Antes de continuar, hagamos un, un último ejemplo. For example, using what time? What time? Do you start to work? Look at that. What time do you start to work? ¿A qué horas comienzas a trabajar? Do you see? What time do you start to work? I start to work at, okay, any here to put the time. Exactly. 8 a.m., for example. You see? So in here, It depends on the hour, so that's the way how you will put it in there. So I start to work at 8 a.m., so you can say 7 a.m., 6 a.m., 
9 a.m. depending on what time you start, you know, to do the action. So this is the structure that we were practicing yesterday. Entonces, básicamente, esto es parte de lo que nosotros estuvimos hablando la clase pasada, right? So that was part of it. Now, we have a very different topic, as I was saying, okay? This, this topic uh, is completely different in comparison to the simple present, okay? Why? Because now we are going to be talking about past actions. Ahora sí, ya vamos a hablar sobre acciones pasadas. Okay, so that's pretty different. Cool. So I am going to eliminate this thing. Give me one second to continue. Now, let's talk a little bit about the class agenda. Okay, the most remarkable for the rest of the class. So we're going to have the review from the previous class, algo que ya acabamos de terminar, right? Eh, eh, el repaso, por así decirlo. Uh, de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Then we are going to start with the simple past statements. Luego vamos a ver so, uh, hablar sobre las oraciones, cómo crear oraciones, ok, simples, eh, 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 en afirmativo, por así decirlo, usando el pasado simple. Then we are going to start using the just no questions uh, in simple past. Then we're going to do some exercises in the manual. And we are going to be finishing working with some structures in the manual. So this is pretty much what we have for the rest of the class. So let's start. Simple past statements. Let's remember, when we talk about statements, we're talking about sentences, okay? Cool, let's start over. Wendy, can you please help me out reading this example for me? So this is basically a... Uh, the definition or where in what cases do we use the simple past? Eh, me dice que diga un ejemplo. No, no, no. Read, read the, the Ah, okay. The we use the simple past to talk about past events. Okay, thank you. So listen up. We use the simple past to talk about past events. So in that case, it's like when we do something and that action is finished, right? For example, if I say, uh, I eat food. So that's in general, right? In simple present. But if I say, I ate food. So that's a simple past statement, right? Now we're gonna be doing, uh, let me see, some examples. Look at this, the example. Uh, Juan worked yesterday. So in that case, if you take a look in there, the one that suffers the change is the verb in this case, because the verb is in simple past. You see, the verb is in simple past. Okay, Juan trabajó ayer, right? To call it like that. So in that case, if you take a look in there, the only one that changes is the verb. El único que cambia en este caso acá es el verbo. ¿Cómo así? ¿Cómo cambia? Se coloca en pasado. Ok. That's the, that's, that's the thing. That's the only change that suffers. The verb. Over here. Now, let's move. Let's continue. Carlos, let's read this one, please. Of course, teacher. Elena traveled to Guatemala last week. Ok. Very good. Elena traveled to Guatemala last week. If you take a look in here, tenemos una time expression por acá, para decir la semana pasada. Traveled, el verbo en pasado, ok. Entonces, estas dos eh, palabras, básicamente nos están transformando toda la oración en pasado simple, right? That's the simple past. So, this one is pretty, pretty easy for you to identify. And we are not going to stop that much in here. Uh, Carla, help me read in this one. Christina sent emails to her boss last night. Ah, okay, very good, thank you. So if you take a look in here, so we got the percent in simple past over here, okay, after the subject, and then in here, 
to make more specific what we are talking about, we have a time expression in the past, okay? In the past. But if you take a look in the verbs, all of them are in simple past. So we have work, worked in simple past, traveled and sent. The three verbs in there are in simple past, okay? In simple past. Good, let's move. Ok, before continuing here, si ven acá básicamente los tres verbos que tenemos, los tres están en pasado simple, ok. Entonces, los verbos son los que nos identifican acá cuando la oración está en un tiempo verbal, especialmente cuando es presente simple o pasado simple, como en este caso, ok. Let's remember, recordemos que también, uh, dependiendo del verbo que usemos, así va a ser la forma que va a optar ese verbo en pasado, ya que tenemos dos tipos de verbos en pasado. Let's remember, tenemos los verbos regulares, que simplemente le agregamos ed al verbo, ok, tal es el caso de eh, worked o traveled, ok, y tenemos verbos irregulares, ok, como la lista que les mandé el otro día, no sé si la descargaron, All right? en este caso tenemos verbos como el verbo send, el verbo enviar, ok, que la forma base de ese verbo es con d al final, send, pero en la forma pasada ya se cambia la d y se coloca la t, sent, ok, y ya lo tenemos en pasado, you see? entonces a eso se le conoce como verbo irregular, ¿Por qué? Porque por lo general suele cambiar su estructura. ¿Ok? It, its structure changes completely in some cases. And in cases like this, uh, it, it remains almost the same. ¿Ok? So, let's continue with this. Uh, but before, before, before continuing with this, hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a este tipo de oraciones? Something that might not be clear for you people. Any question that you might have? Vamos comprendiendo hasta acá. Porque ya les voy a poner a hacer alguna serie de ejemplos. Ahora sí voy a ir corroborando si vamos comprendiendo. Es la única forma de identificar. Ok, cool. If you say that everything is cool. So it's because it's that like that. Okay, let's move. Structure. Vamos a hablar un poco sobre la estructura. Okay, the way how we create this type of examples, right? So let's start over. Ah, yeah, I'm missing here. Okay, look at the example from the structure. This is the structure from a positive statement, okay, in simple past. The structure is the subject plus the main verb in past with ed or irregular verb, right? Plus the complement. Remember, the complement. So if you take a look in there, we can have it like this. This part over here, is the subject, okay? This one is the subject, remember that. This one belongs to the subject. Okay, enjoyed. So in this case, this verb is a regular verb. Why is it a regular verb? Because in simple past, we just add ed okay at the end so in that case the verb is enjoy el verbo es enjoy hasta la y pero como es un verbo regular all right it's a regular so you see in that case you add ed agregamos ed after that what do we have in here we have the complement. This part over here, it's this one. Okay, and this part, 
is basically the complement that goes over here. You see? Like in this. Okay, this is the way how we got this one. Entonces, esta es la forma en cómo organizada la estructura ya puesta en una oración. Okay? Now, let's move with a couple of more examples. Yomara, help me read in this example, please. Xiomara, are you there? Yes. Ah, okay, good. Let's read, please. He called to the other branches. Ah, okay, very good. He called to other branches, right? Ah, él llamó a otras sucursales. You see? So in that case, the verb call is a regular verb, so that's why you got ed at the end. Okay, por eso tenemos ed al final, igual porque el verbo es regular, okay? Cool. Let's continue, Ivania. Tell me already this one, Ivania. Play, play in the stadium. Ah, ok, very good. They played in the stadium. Ellos jugaron en el estadio. So you see, this is the same, the same thing, the same structure, right? Ok, so this is the same structure. Now, people, I come and ask you, do you know any verb uh, in simple past? ¿Conocemos algunos verbos en pasado simple? Uh, in, 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 in English, of course. No. No. Ningún verbo. In simple past. Do we know any verb in simple past? Mismo en presente este forget. Se puede decir forgot. Ah, okay. Ajá, uh -huh. that's the way. Okay, listen up. Listen, listen. En vista a que no sabemos algunos verbos en pasado. Voy a colocar algunos acá. Por ejemplo, look at this. Tenemos el verbo what? Use. De usar. In simple past, this verb is used. Ok. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo teach. Enseñar. Taught. In simple past. El verbo buy. Bought. In simple past. El verbo what? Mm, write. Escribir. Wrote. In simple past. Right? Uh, something else can, that we can use in order to have here. For example, speak. Hablar. Spoke. Hablé. Can you see? So this is this is this is like a couple of them. Let me see. Let me let me show some of them. Uh let's say sell. De vender. Sold. Vendido. Right, vendí en este caso. So you see? So we got some of them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean with six verbs are okay. Okay, listen up. In this case, antes que podamos completar uh, algunos ejemplos que quiero que me hagan con estos que acabo de poner acá, quiero dejar algo bien claro. Listen up. El simple past de los verbos suele ser bastante sencillo a comparación del simple present. Why? Porque a veces el presente simple, recordemos, cuando está en tercera persona, tenemos que tener ese cuidado de estar agregando S, E, S o I, S al verbo. ¿Ok? Cuando es tercera persona. ¿Ok? O cuando es una pregunta. También tenemos que tener ese cuidado. What happened in simple past? ¿Qué sucede en pasado simple? En pasado simple usted no tiene que preocuparse por eso. ¿Ok? Porque depende. No, aquí, aunque use tercera persona o use plural o primera persona, siempre, listen up, always, all the time, siempre va a ser el verbo en pasado sin ninguna modificación. Tal y como lo tenemos en los ejemplos ahí. ¿Ok? Like enjoyed. So you got called. You see? 
called or played. All right, played. You see? So this is the way how you can do this structure. Cool. Any question um, uh, up to now? Hasta acá, alguna duda? Uh, no. ¿Qué me determina que es regular o irregular? Ah, ok. En este caso, básicamente, no es que lo determine, sino que ya hay una uh, lista, por así decirla, general, ya, en las cuales están uh -huh. divididos los verbos regulares de los irregulares. Eh, si se fijan en la lista de verbos que yo les envié al grupo hace un par de días, ok, esa lista está básicamente es una lista de las más completas con los verbos irregulares. De esos verbos son pocos, ¿ok? De esos verbos son pocos, no son muchos. Eh, esa lista anda como por arriba de los 250, si no me equivoco, right Entonces, esa lista está bastante completa. Esos son los verbos que suelen causar más problemas en los tres tiempos verbales. ¿Por qué? Porque cambian en sus tres formas, right? They change in the three forms. Los verbos regulares, por el contrario, son bastante sencillos de usar. Porque la forma que yo use en pasado es la forma del pasado participio, o sea, la tercera forma del verbo. Y a la mayoría, listen, listen, a la mayoría de verbos regulares se les coloca ed, ok, al verbo. Cuando un verbo termina en e, cuando un verbo termina en e, I'm gonna put this one here. Cuando un verbo termina en e, lo único que se le agrega es la d. Tal es el caso de use. Use. Use termina en e. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos acá para pasarlo a pasado? Solo agregarle la d. Y ya dice used. You see? This is the way. Ahora bien, hay verbos que terminan en consonant class Y. ¿Se acuerdan de esto? El módulo pasado estuvimos viendo esto, pero en presente simple. Lo que es consonant plus Y. ¿Qué hacemos acá? Eliminate. Vamos a eliminar el Y y a colocar. I, E, D. For example, study is similar to study. You see? Estos son algunos de los cambios significativos que surge, sufren los verbos regulares. ¿Ok? Estos son de los pocos cambios que pueden, que pueden surgir uh, con ellos. You see? Those are like the ones. Listen up. Si un verbo, si un verbo termina en vowel, vowel plus y, you just, just add ed. For example, look at this. Play. Play. ¿Qué significa? Que el verbo, si el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de la Y va una consonante, eliminamos la Y y colocamos IED. Pero si el verbo termina en Y y antes de la Y va una vocal, surge esa modificación. ¿Ok? O básicamente adición que tenemos ahí, que simplemente le vamos a agregar ed. ¿Ok? And that's it. Para transformarlo en pasado. ¿Ok? So this is the way how we do it. Entonces es la forma en cómo lo hacemos, son las, eh, como las reglas más comunes de esta estructura. ¿Ok? This is like the most common. Right? Structure. No sé si lo van a copiar o ya lo copiaron. This is important for you all. ¿Ok? Ya esto, esto solo aplica para verbos regulares. Remember that. Only for regular verbs, no para verbos irregulares.
school. With this, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? Okay, cool. If you don't have any other questions, si no tenemos preguntas, listen up. Quiero que con estos verbos que tenemos acá, the ones that I already, I already did, okay, for you guys, listen up. Quiero que me hagan tres ejemplos, en los cuales uno me lo hagan en primera persona, usando I, uno en tercera persona, usando he o she, okay, y uno en plural. ¿Qué significa plural? Por ejemplo, cuando mencionamos a dos personas, ¿Ok? O cuando decimos they. Right? They. You know what it says. Escojan tres verbos de esos. Right? Three verbs. Ahí por eso ya puse la forma pasada de los verbos. So, in that case, you can do the examples for me. When you finish, please let me know. ¿Ok? Me hace saber cuando hayan terminado. So, that way we can move on. All right, people, let's go. Let's do it. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect, Carlos. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let me know when you finish, as Carlos did. Finish. Okay, perfect, Emmanuel. What about the rest? Los demás. Jorge, Jacqueline, Ivania, Xiomara. Finish. Ah, okay, very good. Raquel, Wendy, are you about to finish? No, todavía no. Hasta en verso lo dijeron las dos. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's continue, let's continue. All right. Bien, voy a borrar entonces, eh, lo he escrito en la, en, la, en, la, en la presentación. Creo que ya, ya lo copiaron ustedes, so it's not necessary to have it there. Ok, cool. Let's continue. Let me see. Let's, let's start with the ones that we have. Uh, for example, Carlos said that it was the one, the first one to finish. So, Carlos, can you please be so kind and read your examples? Sure, teacher. The first one is, I use the alternative way. Ah, okay. Very good. The second one, uh, she wrote about me. Okay. She wrote about me. Uh, and the last one, we sold a house. Okay, very good. We saw the house. Thank you, Carlos. You did it excellent. Now, uh, uh, Emmanuel. Okay, I sold my car uh, last week ago. Ah, okay. I got a, a letter in the last Valentine's Day. Ah, okay, very good. Continue. And the number three, Emmanuel. He spoke uh, English very well. Okay, very good. He spoke English very well. All right, that's, that's the one. Thank you, Emmanuel. 
You did it excellent. Now, who's next? Any other volunteer? Algun voluntario? Me. Okay, Tamara. She bought some things. They okay. spoke about the topic. Very good. And she taught English very well. Okay, very good. He spoke English very well. Thank you, Samara. You did an excellent. Somebody else? Alguien más? Somebody else that wants to read the examples? Hey, teacher. Ah, okay, cool. Go, Veronica. I wrote a letter last night. Mm -hmm. She uses the pink dress. They sold your books yesterday. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yo. Okay, Wendy. I take uh, coffee. Dos, uh, he traveled to Spain last year. Okay. Y tres, sería Santiago en Veronica or, ordered your house. Okay, ordered your house. Como ordenaron su casa. Eh, eh, pero de ordenar, de limpiarla y todo eso. Sí. Ok. Es correcto. Ah, en ese caso lo puede poner clean, clean their house. En vez de ah, order, okay. es clean. Uh -huh. Exacto. So that, that, that's the one that you can be doing. Thank you, Wendy. Now, who's next? Somebody else that has finished? Alguien más que haya terminado? Yo. Okay, Ivania, let's go. I buy a meal in the supermarket. Okay. And she write the book. Uh, she we, wrote the book? And we speak at the beach. Uh, repeat that one. We speak at the beach. Ah, uh, one question. Lo tiene así. Permítame. Tiene así el verbo? No. Speak. Así lo tiene? Exacto. Eh, no, en este caso es un verbo regular. Es así. Mm. Ajá. Así es. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's oh. okay. There we go. Thank you, Ivania. Now let's see. Carla, do you have your example? Uh, Carla, do you have the example? Okay, I guess Carla is not there. Jacqueline? I mean, where's Jacqueline? <laughs> Curiosamente, Jacqueline. Uh, 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 so, let me see. No sé si es, si es el micrófono, Jacqueline. Or are you in as a listener? Or you're the one that sent the text message? Okay, probably was you. I'm not pretty sure. Okay, who's the one that got the example finished, people? ¿Quién más me hizo los ejemplos? Jorge, do you finish them? Yeah. Ok, Jorge, let's go. Uh, they were to buy a new car. Repeat again. They were to buy a new car. Mm. ¿Cómo se dice? Fueron. Uh, sé que ah. es. Ah, fueron a comprar un carro nuevo. Yeah. Ah, ese de fueron es del verbo go, pero el verbo go en pasado es... Goes. Went, así, went. went. They went. Okay. Exactly, fueron. Ok. They, they, 
Uh -huh. They went to buy. They went to buy a new car. That's right. Very good. Uh, the second example, I went to work yesterday. Ah, okay, very good. And she wrote the report and sent it yesterday. Ah, okay, perfect. There you go. Thank you, Jorge. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más que haya terminado? Let me see. Michelle is still on the way home. Todavía va de camino a casa, creo. William is still working. Jose Edgar is a listener. Cindy, how about you? Cindy, are you there? No, okay. I think I think she's not there. Uh, let me see. Michelle, are you about to get the house? No, okay, so she's not there. Uh, Raquel, do you have the example? I think yes. Okay, let's read them. Um, I played football with my co-workers. Okay, very good. She spoke with the boss and they wrote the report. Nah, okay, very good. There you go, thank you, thank you. You did it excellent. Let me see, Jacqueline does an answer. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Veronica has already participated. And Carlos also, let me see, Carla. Carla, are you there? Carla. No, okay, I think Carla is not there. Okay, people, if the rest is not here, so let's continue with that. Let's continue. Some verbs to practice, you see. The ones that we're gonna have in here, you got it in both ways. Look at this. Regular verbs ending in ed. You have enjoy, travel, work, update, attend, learn, irregular verb. This is the other one. Eat, meet. And drink. And the last one, go. Okay, go. That's gonna be the last one. So this one is like like the one that I wanna show you up. Look at this. We got the regular verbs and the irregular ones, right? So in los regular, simplemente en la gran mayoría de ellos se les agrega ed. Okay. Mientras que los irregulares, por lo general, cambian su Raíz, por así decirlo. Let's remember that, all right? Let's remember that. Good. So, copy those those verbs because you will need them. Copying esos verbos porque los van a necesitar. Okay, cool. Let's go. And let me know when you finish. So that way we can continue. All right, remember, let me know when you finish. I'm already finished, teacher. 
Ah, okay, very good. I guess the other ones are about to finish. Yeah, I mean, they are about to finish. Let me see, I'm just checking the people. Okay, cool. Now, let's continue this. Let's continue. Now, let's start with the yes, no questions. Ahora bien, vamos a dejar un poco de lado entonces el uso de las oraciones afirmativas, okay, en simple past. And now, let's jump into the, the, the yes, no questions, okay? This is an structure, remember. This is just for questions in which you are going to answer yes or no. All right, let's say, uh, let me see, Veronica, help me a reading, please. We generally ask yes, no question using the auxiliary verb, did, must, based plus. form of the verb. Okay, plus. Remember, plus. Para decir más es plus. Maybe. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice. Thank you to you to read that one. No, so take a look at that. It says, did you play soccer? All right? Did you play soccer? Jugaste football? You see, this is the way how it says. Yes, I did. If it is positive. You see? Yes, I did. Esa es una respuesta corta a esa pregunta, right? Yes, I did. Next. No, I didn't. Y aquí es cuando agregamos algo negativo para decir no. Right? No jugué. No, I didn't. Okay, let's go. Look at this. Uh, let me see. Jorge, help me out reading this question. Did she attend the meeting? Ah, okay, very good. Did she attend the meeting? Asistió ella a la reunión? Yes, she did. Sí, right. Lo hizo. Yes. No, she didn't. You see? That's the negative part. Right? Y ahí es la forma negativa. Entonces, para este tipo de estructuras solo existen dos modelos de respuesta. Y son los que ustedes básicamente tienen ahí. Que es considerada una yes, no question. Right? This is a way. Cool. Ya vamos a pasar un poco a la estructura para que lo entiendan de mejor manera. Right? So you can understand that part from a better way. Cool. But if you want to copy that information, okay, it's going to be good for you. Okay, let me know when you finish writing down that part, okay? Me avisan cuando ya han terminado. All right, I guess you have already finished. Creo que ya terminamos esa parte, okay? Cool, let's move. The structure and examples. Look at that. Vamos a ver un poco la estructura y pues vamos a mostrar algunos ejemplos. The structure. Okay, look at that. So basically this is the structure to, all right, create this type of questions. Listen up. Al principio, al principio siempre tiene que ir did como auxiliar. Did, all right? Always has to go did. After that, after that, it goes the subject, okay? Acá si no nos vamos a preocupar sobre cuál es el subject de la pregunta. Why? Porque acá el verbo no sufre ninguna modificación, okay, cuando hacemos preguntas. So, el auxiliar permanece intacto, right? So, in that case, ¿y en qué manera aparece intacto? Me refiero a que 
Acá no sufre ningún tipo de modificación. Siempre va a ser did. All the time, right? Todo el tiempo va a ser did. Aunque sea primera, segunda o tercera persona. The ones that we are asking about. So, let's move. In there, you can say, you can listen, eh, eh, see the subject. Recordemos, el subject básicamente eh, es ya sea un pronombre o un nombre propio. So in that case, puede ser singular o plural. All right. And it's going to be the same. After that, it goes the main verb in base form. Look at that. Acá ya es, dice, verbo principal en forma base. Ok, so this is different. All right, why? Porque acá ya dice que el verbo principal tiene que estar en su forma original. Right? In its original way. Why? ¿Por qué? Se pueden preguntar. Porque si bien en la pregunta inicia con did. Y did básicamente hace la acción del pasado en la pregunta. Ok. So that's why. Por eso ya no podemos colocar otro verbo en pasado. Que en este caso fuera el verbo principal. Right? Por eso se pone en forma base. All right. Did plus subject plus main verb. Uh, it, oh, the base form of the verb and plus complement. All right. So, do we have something in here? Yeah, we got a series of examples. All right. Look at these examples. Wendy, help me out reading, please. Did you go to work? Ah, okay. Did you go to work? Fuiste a trabajar? Possible answer. Look at that. Yes, I did. Si lo hice. No, I didn't. No lo hice. So you see, both possible answer to that question. Okay. All right. So let's move to the next one. Let me see. Who can help me out with that? Someone that has not participated that much. Okay, let me see. Emmanuel, let's go, Emmanuel. Did she send the documents? Okay, very good. Did she send the documents? Envió ella los documentos? Yes, she did. Sí, lo hizo, right? Yes, she did. If it is negative, no, she didn't. No, no lo hizo. Okay, so. That is the way how we create this type of questions, okay? And the answers. Entonces, esta es la forma en cómo poco a poco vamos, okay? Conociendo la estructura, all right? Y familiarizándola. So, in that way, we can create questions by your own. So, in este caso, sí. Es that uh, we're going to make some practice with this type of uh, structure. All right. And right after now, people, do you have any questions? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá con el desarrollo de la estructura? Something that might not be clear exactly for you? Very clear, teacher. Okay, very clear. All right. This is, this is nice. Okay, if you say so, everything is clear, let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna stop sharing this part because, listen up, because we are going to go to the manual and let's do some things in there, okay? Let's do some things in there. Give me one second. Okay, listen up. In order for not having an interruption from those, from those things, we are going to have the second attendance list so that would not happen again. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm gonna put Teacher, you look very tired. No man, it's this I have on a smoke outside. Have you seen have you have you heard about the aspirales to for mosquitoes? So so <laughs> the thing is that outside outside on the street there is one person that put one. Okay, that put one. 
and the smoke <laughs> and the smoke is coming. So my eyes are like sweating because of the smoke. Like a crying. Like a crying, exactly. And not like 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 Jorosos, man. And 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 I feel like like the the fan is hitting me on the face. So that ah, it feels weird, man. It feels weird. So that's why I am like 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 doing this most of the time. But man, a lot of mosquitoes are in here. For real. And uh, now that it's raining, there are a lot of mosquitoes in here. Ahora los zancudos acá después que llovió, man. Is the same here, teacher? Es una peste grande. <laughs> Is it the same, really? Man, yeah, but that's it's, a city. It's, 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 it's very horrible. <laughs> man, we're, we're dying because of this. Okay, cool. Let's start. Uh, Andres. Uh, I'm going to pass the attendance, by the way. Ya es la, las, son las 9.01. So, voy a pasar asistencia antes de que nos vayamos al manual. So, in that case, we don't have any interference. Give me one second. Andres Joel, no here. Let's move. Carlos Mauricio. I think Carlos is sick. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, are you there? Okay, let's move. Uh, Stephanie Michelle. All right, Michelle, are you there? Hola, teacher. Si. Sí. No, okay, cool. Are you in your house already? Mm, según el güey, dice media hora. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you're going to be finishing the class in there, man. <laughs> okay, cool. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Joanna Sarai. What, what did Joanna say? Uh, okay, Joanna, no problem. No problem. Put it away. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Let's move. Entonces, Edgar. Entonces, Edgar, are you there? Hmm. No, okay. He's not there. Ah, uh, Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move. Julio Cesar. No, I mean, Julio is not here yet. Uh, Karen Beatriz. All right, Karen didn't connect today. Uh, let's see, Carla Lisette. Present teacher. Ah, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Okay, very good. Veronica Arely. Present. Very nice. Let's move. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Ah, okay, William. I got it there. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, excellent. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Okay, cool. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. This is not here. Okay, cool. Now, let's open up the manuals, people, because we are going to go to the page. Where is it? Okay, to the page 23. And I'll be starting on page 23. All right, 23. It says, the students will be able to describe past networking experiences in business. Okay, let's put it that way. Uh, I'm gonna share this thing. Give me one second. I'll show you how to present this thing. 
Mm, how okay. can Presences. Okay, cool. I guess you can see my screen. So let's start over with this. All right, listen up. What are we going to be doing right now? Likely similar to what we have been doing uh, in the past. What is that? We're going to listen to the conversation because I'm going to read the conversation. Okay. And then you guys are going to practice with a partner. Okay. Then you're going to practice with them. Now, this is a conversation between Luis and Janet. Look at that. So this is pretty short, a pretty short conversation. It's bastante corta, like a little bit easy for you. Okay. So in here, lo que tenemos que prestar mayor atención es al uso de las preguntas. If you take a look at them, y las respuestas. All right. How they are organized. It says, Luis, did you enjoy the seminar? Listen up. Did you enjoy the seminar? It says, Janet, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. It says, tell me more. Tell me more. It says, Janet, I updated, listen, I updated my networking skills. My networking skills. I learned, in here, la pronunciación de este verbo, ok, simplemente van a pronunciar la N y la D. La E no se pronuncia en pasado. No es learned, es learned. La N y el sonido de la D, ok. I learned to move from a small to a small talk. To move from. Small to smart talk. The sleep. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Did you make, listen up, new contacts? All right. Then it says, Janet. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, give me one second, people. Jesus Christ. Okay, yes, I did. I exchanged. Esta, este verbo acá es un verbo regular, okay? Pero la pronunciación de este verbo termina en T. En vez de decir exchanged, Changel, o como algunos dicen, right, algunos estudiantes someten este mistake, acá es exchanged con T, ok? The pronunciation in here is with T. Aquí le agregamos la pronunciación una T. Exchanged. Business cards. Business cards with 10 people. With 10 people. And it says, Luis, awesome. Listen, awesome. Okay? Awesome. There you go. So let's put it this as something awesome. All right. From the conversation, do you have any question with the vocabulary? In la conversación, hay algún vocabulario que no comprendamos del todo? ¿Alguna palabra? ¿Pronunciación? Sure. ¿Ya, Carlos? Exchange. Exchange es intercambiar. Intercambiar, ok. Yes. Gracias. There you go. Something else? ¿Algo más? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, donde está la segunda de Janet? Who that? Who that thing? I ah, who. This one? Ese, sí. Updated, la T, la T se convierte en R, en pronunciación, como R. Updated, es como la R, updated. 
updated. Okay. Yeah, updated. Okay. Very good. Something else? Algo más? Let's see. Didi, Didi, Xiomara, Wendy, Ivania, Veronica, Emmanuel, all right, Carlos, you already done there. Raquel, uh, Jorge, Michelle, if it is there. Cindy, or whatever is there. Oh, Joana. Ay, to, entendemos todas esa, esa, esas palabras de las preguntas que aparecen en la conversación. Comprendemos yes, todo ese vocabulario. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Cool. Bien, solo para tomar en consideración, a uh, Michelle todavía no, no llega a casa, ¿cierto? So, no puede practicar la conversación. Sí, sí puedo. Ah, ok, perfect. Nice, man. Cool. Cindy, usted no podría, ¿cierto? Porque eso lo veo que me está respondiendo a través de chat. Uh, let me see. What did she say? Uh, no ando el manual, dice Joana. O sea, Joana, ¿y si lo tiene, Joana? ¿Sí podría? No, todavía no. Solo escucharía. No, creo que solo escucharía, así como está. Uh, Jorge, yeah, I mean, you're there, right? Yeah. Cool. William, you said todavía no, right? Okay, let's see. Ah, I mean, you're working, Cindy. Okay, good. Okay, good. no problem. All right, William is still working, too. Okay, cool. All right, so... No Cindy, no William, no Jose Edgar, no Joana, no Raquel. Ah, no, me Raquel is there. No, Raquel, sí, ahí está. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no invento. Uh, Jacqueline, I mean, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Are you there, Jacqueline? Solo para confirmar, Jacqueline. Turn on your, your, your microphone and tell me, here I am, teacher. I want to listen to you once, at least once. I don't know if I, if I even was texting with you or who was the, the one that I was texting. I don't know who I was texting. But I don't recognize Jacqueline's voice. But anyways, listen up. What are we going to do? We are going to go and practice this short conversation for about five minutes. And then we're going to come back in here, okay? So let me create the groups in here in the breakout room so we can recreate the conversation. You got it. Eh, ¿Se puede compartir la imagen que andan también la captura? Por favor. Okay, okay. Give me one second. Yeah, I mean, you got it there. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let me stop sharing this. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to recreate the groups. Give me one second. How many people are there? 15. Uh, let's put 12 like this. Okay. Give me one second. No, man, I'm going to put it. Ah, Jesus, what did I do? Give me one second. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put them manually. And I... I did it like if I was assigned manually. This is the one. All right, so Carlos is available. So let's put this one and I'm gonna put Ivani. Chill. So And then the, give me one second, people. I'm just doing this part. Sumara, uh, she's there. Okay, let's put it this way. Cool. Let's go and open up the, the, the breakout rooms, people. Let's, let's go to practice that short conversation for about five minutes, and then we're going to come back, okay? Let's go. Uh, 
All right, let's go, let's go. Let's accept it, people, and let's join. Let's join to the to the breakout room. I did. Ten more. I take my network working. It's I learned to move from smart to smart. Third. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchange. We sign card with 10 people. Uh Sí, okay, eh, empiezo usted si quiere y luego yo. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned learned a lot. Na, no es. Que, que, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. No es learned. Es learned. Solamente vamos a pronunciar la d al final, Stephanie. ¿Cómo? Learn. Listen, learn, cuando ya termine en learn de la N, solo pronuncie la D nada más. Learn. Sin E. Sin E, sin E, sin e. exactly. Ok. Learn. Le toca. <laughs> ok. Eh, I update. My networking. Espérame, espérame. Voy a buscar mis lentes en la cartera porque ya veo borroso, espérame. Voy a Espérame, que no veo. Ahora mejoramos. <laughs> did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned to a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learning to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Ah, business cards, business cards. Business card. Y aquí recuerdo, es, ¿cómo se dice? I exchange. Exchange. Ah, ok. Exchange business card with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. Ok. okay. Ahora usted comienza. Sí, ahora yo. Eh, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes. yes, I did. I learned a lot. Thank you. I update my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I changed business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Hi, teacher. What's up, man? What's up, everything? What's up? Yeah. Ah, miren, nomás vine y Joana puso la, el, 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 el micrófono en mute. Ay, qué muchachita va. Yes. No, si no estaba participando. Yeah, I mean, I know. I know, she's sick. Solo estoy yendo. Sí, sí, solo estoy yendo. Ella está practicando ahí de manera telepática, dice, right, Joana? Así es. Sí, Aquí lo siento yo en mi mente. 
<risa> ok. <risa> ok, that's cool, that's cool. ¿Cómo va la práctica? Very good? nice. Nice, man, nice. I'm going to be checking some other people. So let's continue, ok? Ok, ok. Nice. Vale. Y ya Kalina está allí. No. No está ya Kalina. No. Empiezo yo entonces. Sí. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. A Wilson? A, a, a Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> No, Carla. No, listen, listen. Ah, oh, man, I'm kidding to you. Listen, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Ah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Repita la otra vez, Carla. Awesome. No, no, oh, no, awesome. Así, like awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Como que fuera no. awesome. Exactly, exactly. Jorge. Awesome. There you go. Ahí está. Eh. Ahí está. There you go. That's the one. Esa niña me la sabía. <laughs> ok, cool. No, pero ya, yeah, alright. That, that's, that's the way. Right? Esa es la forma. Right, Carla. Okay. <laughs> Démosle de nuevo. Ok. <laughs> Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Teacher, we're ready. You're ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, pretty cool. That's, that's nice. Jose Edgar is a student. Yeah, I mean, he's just a listener. Apparently, he's working. Se supone que todavía está trabajando, creo. Yeah, okay. All right, so, that, so that's why he's, he's a listener. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have been, it's been, it's been tan irregular el grupo ahora. No sé por qué. Teacher, eso veo, fíjense que en el pasado grupo éramos 22 y éramos bien constantes, pero ahora bien, como que ya no quieren seguir algunos, ¿va? Exactly, lo más que se conectan son 13 a veces, y, y, no sé, no sé, uno sé qué sucede a... Uh, Even eh, Juan Gilberto ya abandonó el curso también. I don't know why. No me dio ninguna, eh, sin ninguna explicación. Así solo me dijo que ya no iba a continuar en Davaset. Y yo me quedé así como que, ok. Teacher. Ya, me nayas, pero no, no, no conseguí, no, no pude tener respuesta. Igual que uh funciona -huh. a un tal Chávez. Solo, solo vino una vez y ya no se conectó nunca más. Ah, ya, yeah, man, it's true, that's true. Exactly. It was only one class and that's it. Bueno, I don't know what happened to them. No sé si se habrán cambiado de grupo o whatever. No sé. No creo. That's, that's weird. That's weird. Es raro. Pero anyways, vamos a ver cómo terminamos este, este, este módulo. And let's see in the future. Yeah, because creo que sí vamos a recortar el grupo. All right. Por lo menos se va a incluir bastante personas uh, nuevas y, y para el próximo. Es con abril la edad. Vale, sí, sí. Ajá. Ojalá sí, sí, también con nosotros en el módulo 4. Primero Dios. A ver qué tal. A ver. Sí. Ya, yeah, men. Pues probable, probable que vayan a be together again. Ok, teacher. Ok, cool. Ya, yeah, men, if you finish, let's go to the main section. Uh, and... and go to practice that, ok? Sí. Muy bien, teacher. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so everybody's coming now. So let's 
jump into the exercises. Mamen, not yet. Let's go to the conversation. And I want to listen to you practicing these people. Uh, let me see who's the first one in my line in here. Uh, Carlos, let's go, Carlos. You're the first one in here. Okay, teacher. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I played my networking sky. I learned to move from smart to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. The exchange was a card with 10 people. Okay, Bus business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, perfect. There you go. Thank you, Ivania and Carlos. Now, Veronica, who were you practicing with? Wendy. Okay, cool. Enjoy. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, very good. Thank you, girls. You did it excellent. Now, Carla. Let's go, Carla. No se ría, teacher. No, es que le veo la carita y se pone a reír, nomás menciono su nombre. Okay, good. Let's okay. go. Let's go with Jorge, right? Yes. Okay. Go. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to smart talk. Right. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Nice, man. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's the way. <laughs> you go. Creo que Carla ya no va a olvidar esa, esa pronunciación. No, ya no. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, Carla. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. You did it excellent. Now, uh, hey, Manuel, who were you practicing with? I, 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 if I, as far as I remember, you work with Michelle, right? Sí. Okay, let's go, man. Let's go. Emanuel, let's start. Hey, hey, give me one second. Creo que se me desconectó. ¿Qué le hizo a Michelle? Okay, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. All right. Eh, mientras se conecta Emanuel, uh, Raquel, let's go, Raquel. You and, and, and the person you were practicing. Con su Mario. Okay, let's go. Somara. I'm just Somara is there. All right, Somara, mm -hmm. let's start. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Business oh, so. Awesome. There you go. Thank you, Xiomara and Raquel. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Emanuel, are you there? Emmanuel. No. <laughs> Give me one second. I just say stop connecting. Name, he he got disconnected. Okay. Uh Michelle, let's do it with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out with that, okay? Okay. All right. Uh I'm gonna start, okay? No, give me one second. Emanuel is coming. Ah, finally. Emanuel, are you there, man? Emanuel. 
Are you there? Yeah, I mean, he got problems with the internet, probably. Emmanuel, do you listen to me? That means he's moving from one place to another. Emmanuel, okay. Okay, man. Uh, I think Emmanuel is no longer participating in this because he, he got problems with the internet. All right, let's start, Michelle. Yes. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. Okay, Michelle, listen, I, listen, listen. I updated. I updated. Yes. My networking skill. I learned to move from small to smartest. Nah, okay, cool, great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged mm -hmm. con de Rinaldo. I exchanged con te, exchanged. Exchanged, exchanged. No me sale esa te al final. <laughs> Listen, exchanged. Exchanged. Yes. Change. No, esa te no me sale. <laughs> <laughs> ya le va a salir, ya le va a salir. Ok. Ajá. Business, uh -huh. business card with 10 people. There you go. Awesome. Right? Cool. Give me one second. Emmanuel, now, can you listen to me? Yes. And no. this moment, yes. Finally, man, let's go and practice with Michelle then. Oh, Michelle, ayúdele. <laughs> no se puede okay. quedar sin practicar, ¿ok? Cool, go. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. Oh, I learned okay. to move from small to smarter. Right. So, did you make any contact? Yes, I did. I exchange, exchange. I no me sale esa <laughs> te. Exchange. No, no. Business card with ten people. Awesome, Emmanuel. <laughs> there you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. <man. laughs> All right. So let's let's go, people. Let's go. Thank you for you both, Emmanuel and Michelle. Uh, now, people, let's continue with that thing. Listen, from this short conversation that you got in here, look at this. You have some questions to answer in here. For example, question number one, it says, did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. What is the answer according to the question, uh, according to the conversation? Yes, he did. No, uh, he didn't. Yes, he did or no, he didn't? No, he didn't. Why not? Because, uh, <laughs> Just tell me that in English. <laughs> because Janet. Because went to the seminar. Excellent. There you go. Luis le preguntó, ¿cierto? Okay, cool. So, no, he didn't. That's the correct answer, right? Very good. Next question. Let's see. Xiomara, read the question, please. Did Janet Dyer have a networking school? Okay. Did Janet uh -huh, have her working Networking skills, is that yes, she did or no, she didn't? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, very good. Yes, she did, because she was saying in the paragraph in there that she updated her networking skills, right? In here, look, I updated my networking skills. That's what she said. Okay, very good. Next question, uh, number three. Carla, help me a reading. Did Janet learn 
to go from small to smart talk. Aha, thank you, Carla. Cool. Yes, she did or no, she didn't, people? According to the conversation. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Ah, okay, very good. So who did that? Are you sure? Listen, did Janet learn to go from a small to a smart talk? Usted is saying no, she didn't, right? Yes. Vamos a ver la conversation. Okay, Janet says, I learned to move, to move. from a small to a small talk. ¿Mm? Y aquí dice to go. Por eso dicen ustedes que Nachi did it. Yes. Ah, yeah. Pero sí sabe que go and move vienen siendo, vienen siendo verbos de movimiento, ¿verdad? So, como son verbos de movimiento, like go and move from one place to another, go from one place to another, so, yes, she did. Right? Why? ¿Ah? For example, Raquel, it's like if you say, listen, like Raquel moved to San Salvador. So Raquel go or went, in this case, in simple past, to San Salvador. So basically, both of them, it means that you're going to San Salvador, right? So in that case, that's why it's pretty similar to both of them. So that's why you got, yes, she did. Oh, yes. that's it for me. Nice, man. Read number four because of that. Por eso le amo la número cuatro. Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? Good. Thank you for your reading, Veronica. Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Yes, no, he didn't. Are you sure? Segura? Pero es, es la 4 o es... ¿Cuál yeah, es? Yeah, number 4, number 4, yes. <laughs> Yo creo que no, pero no sé si me he confundido. Que no la ponga a dudar, que no la ponga a dudar. Listen, did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Verónica, come on, Verónica. Creo que estaba desconcentrada, sorry. So, ¿cuál es su respuesta definitiva, Verónica? De hecho, la... Eh, sí. La última respuesta. Okay. ok, cool. So, in that case, estaba equivocada, Verónica. Porque mire... Quien lo hizo fue Janet, no Luis. You see? It says, I exchange business cards with 10 people. Hmm? Look at this. And the question says, y la pregunta dice, Did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? No, quien lo hizo fue Janet. Right? So that's why it says, no, he didn't. Jorge, you got you got something with the microphone, man. No sé, creo que le pasa algo a su micrófono, que se escucha raro. All right. Uh, now, let's go to here, people. How to use simple past tense and just no questions, it says. Look at this. Esto es parte de lo que hemos estado viendo en la presentación anteriormente. Okay? Related to what we were doing with the verbs. Now, take a look at this. Over here, over here, we have this chart in which they say, look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. It says, in bold, there's son las, las letras en negrita, okay? For example, I learned a lot. Aprendí mucho, okay? So, en estos clases, en, est, en, est, en estos ED que tiene marcado acá, significa que el verbo es regular. 
¿ok? Porque para hacerlo pasado simplemente le agregamos ed. I updated my networking skills. Listen, I updated my networking skills. Emanuel, read number three, please. I changed business cards. Thank you, mister. Cool. Uh, let me see who else can help me out with this. Yomara, help me out with number four. Luis, did you attend the seminar? Thank you, Xiomara. Yeah, Luis didn't attend the seminar. This is a negative, uh, okay. Uh, in this case, sentence. This is a negative sentence. Listen up. Cuando creamos oraciones en negativo, usando el pasado, por lo general se usa el verbo, ok, did más el not, ok, más not. En este caso acá, recuerden, es did plus not, que en este caso viene a dar didn't, like this, didn't, did plus not, is similar to didn't. Y básicamente ya ahí tenemos la oración en negativo. ¿Ok? Simplemente acá, si hacemos esto, así, over here, give me, give me one second, what, what did I do? Give me one second, people. Si yo hago esto acá, acá, over here, entonces es una oración positiva, right? Luis, attend the seminar. Pero, listen, listen, el verbo, si ven, está en presente simple. Ok, en presente simple. ¿Qué tengo que hacer para que esta, esta oración esté en pasado? En este caso acá, ok, el verbo attend lo vamos a poner like this. Con ed, ok, attended. So, Luis attended the seminar. Luis asistió al seminario, ok, si esa fuese una oración positiva, ok. Pero, ¿qué sucede en este caso? In this case, la oración está en negativa. Por lo tanto, over here, give me one second, what happened here? In here, antes, antes del verbo principal, se coloca el did plus not. ¿Ok? O transformado, como nosotros lo decimos, uh, ya uh, joined with not, y ya tenemos didn't. Cuando eso sucede, ¿ok? Cuando eso sucede, acá ya el auxiliar do ya está en pasado, ok, es in simple past, ya es did, por lo tanto el verbo attend ya no tiene la necesidad de ir en pasado, so, por lo tanto va en forma base, ok, so in that case it goes in base form, ya va en forma base. Another one, Luis didn't exchange business cards, Luis no intercambió tarjetas de negocio, alright, o tarjetas de presentación, por así decirlo, alright. So, in this case, si ve exchange, ya va sin la D, ok, quiere decir que no esté en pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos deal acá que está haciendo la acción del pasado, right? That's the way. Ok, cool. Now, if you move to here, you will find the yes, no questions, ok? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skills? If you took a look at there, si ven en esa parte ahí, ok, lo que tenemos son las yes, no questions, según la estructura que estuvimos viendo, ok. Entonces, acá viene a dar lo mismo. Como tenemos did acá, eh, que es do en pasado, por eso ya el verbo no va en pasado en la pregunta solamente en la respuesta, ¿ok? Si hacemos una respuesta larga, ya en la respuesta sí tiene que ir, ¿ok? El verbo en pasado, ¿por qué? Porque ya no llevamos did. Example, look at this. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I enjoyed the seminar. You see? Así, de este modo, ¿ok? Si ven ya el verbo enjoy, ya lo llevo con ed, ¿ok? Why? Porque acá, si ven, después del punto, no llevo ningún did, 
ok, que me ayude a que el verbo se esté en forma base, all right, so this is the way how we answer this type of questions, all right, so así es la forma eh, larga, por así decirlo, de cómo nosotros damos respuesta a estas just no questions, cool, any question people, alguna duda? Are you no. bored? Están seguros. Es que los veo así como que. No. Creo que no. Okay, cool. But if you say that you don't have any question, let's move. Let's move from here. Give me one second. I'm gonna erase this thing. And let's move down. Let's go down. This is what it, what really matters to me. Look at this. Look at this, people. In here, in here, we have some verbs. Acá tenemos algunos verbos. Tenemos el verbo attend, enjoy, meet, learn, network, and exchange. Okay? Now, what are we going to do in this case? Dice, complete the questions below using the verbs in parentheses. Interview two classmates and take notes if answers are... No, no, no. What are we going to do here? Look, estos verbos que tenemos acá, los vamos a usar para completar las preguntas de acá. Ok, tal y como tenemos la pregunta acá. Dice, con el verbo attend. Did you attend to a seminar last month? ¿Asististe a un seminario la, el mes pasado? Ok, in here, listen. Porque los voy a mandar a trabajar en los mismos grupos que estábamos. Acá. Ok, acá, cuando ya hayan terminado las preguntas, acá ustedes van a anotar la respuesta de su compañero. Acá, en esta zona. Over here. Supongamos que Carlos está trabajando con... Uh, da, 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 Carla, por el aire. Entonces, ambos terminan las preguntas acá. All right. Luego Carlos le pregunta a Carla, Did you attend to a seminar last month? Si Carla dice... Yes, I did. Si es positivo, Carla va a decir, yes, I did. Acá. Yes. Give me one second. What happened here? Over here. Yes, I did. Ok. Y si es negativo, dirá, no, I didn't. Like this. Y ahí ya le damos respuesta a la pregunta. Ok. Luego, Carla le va a hacer la pregunta a Carlos, right? It's gonna go vice versa, all right? And Carla is going to write the answer that Carlos did, okay? Cool, this is the way. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Con lo que van a hacer? This is gonna be the last activity, okay? Any question? No? Okay. I'm glad when there's no questions to be asked. So I'm going to stop in here. No, okay, William, no problem. So I'm going to stop in here and let's go to work in the breakout rooms as the way we have been working, okay? Let's go, people. Nah, what happened here? Give me one second. Ok, únense ya. Ya voy a unir a, a varias personas acá que, que se han quedado solas. Déjame Carlos work with us. Ah, but Cindy is no longer working in Manuel. Give me one second. Carlos, who were you working with? Estaba con Iván y con, y con José Edgardo. Ah, ah, ok, ok. Give me one second. Le agarró. En room number one. Yeah, me, that's where. No, se fueron. Ah, no, me, give me one second. Stephanie, you were with Emanuel, right? Sí, con Emanuel. ¿Y quién más estaba ahí? Solo ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, solo los dos. Ok, cool. Los voy a unir en el room number two. Let's go there. Vámonos al room number two. Ok, yeah, me. Go there.
I read your message, William. Leí su mensaje, William. Y sí, supongo que se complicaron las cosas en el trabajo. Así que, let's continue with there, okay? I'm going to be checking some people in here. S U E G I. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, yes. En la, en la segunda, como está el verbo enjoy, solo ponemos did you, did you enjoy the, con D, ¿verdad? The seminar. Eh, eh, no, no. En las preguntas, recuerde, el verbo va en forma base. El verbo no va uh -huh. en pasado. Entonces sería did you enjoy the seminar. Exactly. Ah, va. Exactamente. No cambia entonces. Ya, yeah, en las preguntas no cambia. Solo en las respuestas sí vamos a incluir una respuesta larga. Ah, va. Did, yes. Entonces sería, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes. Ok, teacher. Cool, man. Let's continue then. Hola, hola. Hello, how are you go there? ¿Cómo van? Hola, no, con fallas técnicas. <laughs> What happened, Michelle? No, no le escuchaba a Emanuel. Ah, but now you're listening to him. Ahora sí, right, Emanuel? Are you there? Yeah. I am in his there. You see? He's there. Ah, pues empecemos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's go in a hurry because you got seven minutes to finish, okay? Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Vaya, en la, en la número dos. Mmm, ¿Cómo? No le escucho. Hola. Ah, ya me escuché. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Give me one second. ¿Cómo, Wendy? Yes, I didn't. Sí. No, es no, I didn't. Si dice yes, es yes, I did. Ah, sí, 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 sí. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Bye. Hola, Wendy. Vaya, yes, I did. Y la vamos a hacer. Vamos yes, a she did. Sería la... sí. Ajá, ya sería yes, she did. En ese caso. Sí, y le vamos a poner allí. Usted póngale allí chi, chi meet, um, miren. Ah, 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 ah. No, chi met. ¿Están con ah. el verbo meet, meet, con doble e? Sí. Sí, 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 sí. Para hacer el pasado de ese verbo solo se le elimina una e. Y la pronunciación, ah, y queda meet. Y la pronunciación es met, met. met. Ah, ok. Yes. Ah. Ah, pues ahí póngale chimet. Met. Ah, eh, new people. Para que la hagamos diferente. Ay, de comer. Con razón no me cuadraba. Hello, ladies. Hello. You are so happy, man. Ne. What happened to you? <laughs> Qué del sueño, ya te estoy leyendo mal. <laughs> Come on, man. It's just. Did you never in the conversation? I re read it. Man, you're sleeping, Raquel. Wake yes. up, man. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, man. Ay, no, qué terrible. Yes, I know, Joana. Raquel siempre anda so happy. <laughs> Super happy. Ne. Eh, pero no me quiero imaginar cuando se enojan. No quisiera, estar, no, no quisiera estar cerca de ella. Like when she's angry. Sí. Yeah. No, sí, a veces exploto mero raro. El diablo le dice, dice Joana. <risa> sí. Ok. Pobrecita. Pobre... Teacher, acabemos ya la clase. Pobrecita, Joana. Pobrecita, Joana. Ah. Uy, que no, que, no, que no le engañe esa carita así, angelical. 
Sí, mire cómo está en esa foto. Así que no lo engañen esos ojitos. <risa> okay. No se dejen llevar por las apariencias. Ah, ok, ok. <risa> sí. I love you, Johanna. Sure, sure, sure. Sí, no, nosotros somos un caso. <risa> Exactly. I mean, I'm going to be checking another group and then uh, are you about to finish? Are you finished already? No, no ve que yo estoy leyendo mal. Conversation ahí es convention. Uh, come on, man. Let's read good. Let's read good. Uh, and and I, I will give you three minutes for you to finish, okay? Pure, porque ya tengo sueño. Yes, man. No, you. Apure si usted. Si no termina, ¿cómo no vamos a ir? Okay. Ya solo nos faltan dos. Nice, man. Nice. Bye, bye. Con... Cuando va a decir al inicio, este... No, el otro lleva, lleva el D. No pero, no, pero Aten es su forma, la forma este, infinitiva del verbo. Entonces, como ya estamos usando did, el did está prácticamente... Haciéndolo ver que es en pasado, entonces ya no hay necesidad de, de alterar el verbo en pasado. O sea, si una pregunta empieza con did, el verbo ya, ya no cambia, va normal. Así como están aquí al otro lado de la página. Enjoy. Ajá, así, así va ahí. Ya si fuera... Achí, no la había visto aquí. El teacher Jorge. Yes, man, you're right, man. Está en lo correcto, Jorge. Listen, en ese caso, cuando ya lleva did, ya no es necesario modificar el verbo principal. En este caso sería el verbo attend. El verbo principal solo se modifica en oraciones positivas, ¿ok? Cuando ya no llevamos did. Did ah. se utiliza, did se utiliza en preguntas y en oraciones negativas. Pero en oraciones positivas ya no se usa. Ok, entonces sería cabal enjoy. Exactly. Ok. Así es, Inde. Ah, pues estaba en lo equivocado. <risa> Tengo que borrar todo. Ah. <risa> sí, sí, sí. <risa> no, pero aquí me está ayudando el compañero. Oh, my God. Ok, cool. That's nice, man. That's nice. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, awesome. <risa> ya no se me va a olvidar. Ah, no, sí, si es que ya sabía que no se le iba a olvidar. Ay, no. No, pero la carita que hizo Carla fue como cuando una niña la regaña. Me decía como que... Nah. <risa> oh, my God. No, man, but... Uh, are you about to finish? Eh, no, aún no. Ah, solo, solo era la parte 6, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh, yeah, I mean, just, just, just that part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool, man. Let's 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 try to hurry up because I'm gonna go and check some other groups. Okay. Okay. Oh. Nice. Did you learn something? Pongamos negativa esa. No. Usted va a poner negativo. Porque él está preguntando si usted aprendió algo. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Usted aprendió algo? Mm. Pongámosle en el tiempo. Entonces pongámosle. Yeah. Mm. I did. I learned something. Yes. ¿Cómo y cómo? No escuché. La pregunta es, eh, Michelle, listen. Uh, Manuel está diciendo, did you learn something? Aprendió algo. Y usted le está diciendo, no, uh, no, I didn't. No, no aprendí. Ah, es que iba, puse yes. Yes, ah, No okay. tiene sentido. Es no, didn't. <risa> Oh my God. Sí tiene sentido, Michelle. Pero, pero entonces, no. Porque le estoy preguntando si usted aprendió algo. Ah, no, I did. 
Ok, put it there, Manuel. Póngalo así, Manuel, que no aprendió nada ah, cuando fue al seminario. Póngalo así. No la vamos a sacar de esa negación. Ok. Let's, let's continue. Did you network connection? Con... Hello, people. You finish? Sí, ya es hora. Ah, ya, yeah, man. It's... Hey, man, it's 10 of 3. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, it's time. Uh, I, I, was, I was just checking these people and they were not finishing. So, let's go, man. Let's go to the main session. Creo que sí, yeah. Bien de haber terminado los demás. Let's see you there. I think some of you have enough finished. That's why you are late to come, people. I just got eight people in here. Oh, come on. The other people are sleepy. Nah, man, they haven't, they, they, they haven't finished. No han terminado, por eso es. Ya va a ver que el Zoom los va a sacar, ya ve. They are coming. That's what happened. The baby are crying. Yeah, I mean, es que Raquel le pegó, creo. <laughs> Qué terrible. <laughs> Gran poder de Dios, ¿cómo voy a hacer eso yo? <laughs> no sé, dice Joana. Ok, let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. Y como ya no puede hablar. All right. Que ella let's le continue. muerde la patita a mi sobrino. Ok. <laughs> ok, now listen, people. I know some of you have not finished. Ok. Uh, you have not finished in, in, in those things. Hay algunos que todavía no terminaron de completar la actividad. Right. And that's why you got that, that, that thing, like, like get the camera off. Now you see. And listen, listen, people. Because of the time, because of the time, no los quiero tener por mucho tiempo acá. All right. No, no es capaz de mangar, cortar ahí, no hablando solo. All right. Listen. Tratemos de hacer esa, esa, eso que nos falta, ok, este fin de semana. Tiene mañana, sábado, domingo. Eh, eh, solo es el ejercicio 6, ok. No me voy a decir Raquel, just exercise number 5. Uh, so you can ask in the group in that case <laughs> tranquilo José Edgar todavía no, no, no pasa asistencia All right. so in that case uh, you can ask in the group for example para los que no han terminado pueden contactarse en el grupo con la persona que me está trabajando so, y, y, y lo pueden terminar ok lo pueden terminar y el lunes eh, lo vamos a, a, a revisar al inicio de la clase ok You're going to give me your answers and the answers from your classmate, the one that you have been working on, okay? So we're going to do that as a model of homework. Entonces vamos a dejar eso así tipo a modo de, uh, you know, tarea, okay? That's one. That's one. And uh, so basically that's going to be everything. Eh, para los que todavía o los que les gusta hacer la tarea a última hora, please, tienen este sábado y este domingo para ponerse al día. Ok, recordemos que aunque no va a ser el martes la última fecha de, 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 de la semana 2, va a ser el miércoles, pero igual es de que ya vayamos al día y si pueden ir avanzando en la práctica de la, de, de la plataforma, sería más que genial, ok. Uh, so that's going to be everything for tonight. I'm just going to, you know, uh, pass the attendance list before we leave. So give me one second. All right, Andres Joel is not here, right? Uh, Carlos Mauricio is not here. Cindy Melanie, yeah, I mean, she's there, but she's working. Miss Stephanie Michelle? Present. Cool. I was with you, right, Michelle? Estaba con usted en, la, en la, el feedback de ayer. Sí, okay, con nice, mío. Nice, thank you. Ivania Jamilet? Present. Nice. 
Jacqueline Patricia. Bien, Jacqueline. Ok. Uh, let me see. Joana Saraí. Ok, Joana. Uh, let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Jorge, did we have the 10 minutes feedback with you? Yeah, right? Yeah. Ok, thank you, mister. Uh, let's see. Jose Edgar. Yeah, I mean, he's there, right? Before. Juan Emanuel. Guys, where is Juan Emanuel? He left already. Okay, cool. Let me see. Julio Cesar is not here. Karen Beatriz is not here. Jesus Christ. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, Carla, did I have the 10 minutes feedback with you? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. Cool. Emmanuel, so today we're going to have the 10 minutes feedback, okay? I hope we can do it. Así que se me queda después de la clase, please. Uh, Raquel Stephanie. Titoy. Okay, cool. Uh, Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, cool. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Excellent. William Ernesto. All right. And he says that, that he's not there. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Hey, give me. Ah, you have an issue with the internet, Emmanuel? So you won't have a... Okay. Give me one second, people. Give me one second. Me dijo hablando solo, Emmanuel. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, Emmanuel, Julio, Karen, Carla, Raquel. Hey, Raquel. Sorry, man. You're gonna you're gonna stay with me <laughs> in the 10 minutes feedback. It's gonna be for a moment, okay? It's just gonna be for a moment, but it's necessary. Jesus. Uh, Raquel is la numero, let me see. La numero 17. Se supone que debería ir por el numero 7. Ah, where is this people going, man? Oh my God. Okay, Xiomara, I mean, Xiomara is there, right? Carlos Josue. Right. Present. Okay, cool. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay, people, thank you for getting connected. Espero que tengan un buen fin de semana y nos vemos el lunes, okay? Bye-bye, people. See you bye -bye, on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, just nice. Awesome. <laughs> bye, bye everybody. <laughs> bye, Carla. Okay, cool. All right, Raquel. I know, man, you're tired and everything, but yeah, he's part of the requirement. Yo también, así como que ya, 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 verdad. Okay. Uh, these 10 minutes are just to clarify any questions that you might have with this topic and the previous topics. So I don't know if you have any questions. Raquel. Ah, you got the microphone off. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, do you have any questions with, with the topics? Uh, and sí, eh, entiendo como en general lo que siempre me ha costado pues son los verbos, pero nada más porque vuelvo a estudiarlos, los del present, past, in past, past, Why? Con, past sí. Why, man? Con I don't have time. Just with one a day. It's not necessary to you, for you to learn at least one day. I mean, why don't you try learning one verb a day? That's it. One verb. Yeah, I mean, one verb a day. Imagínense cuántos verbos serían en un mes. It would be 30 verbs. Yes, yeah. but the verb in the original, in the past, in the past, parts, in the past, no sé qué. No, I mean, just three. Present perfect, I mean, uh, simple present, que es la forma base. Simple mm -hmm. past and past participle. That's it. In a day, I mean, lo más que creo que les pueda llevar son cinco minutos. Like five minutes. That's it. Right? Un verbo por día. 
listen, ese reto parece así como que, nah, ni es demasiado sencillo, no sé qué, pero fíjense que funciona bastante. El ir un verbo por día, despacio, sin prisa, sin nada, imagínense al mes, ya son 30 verbos, en dos meses son 60. So in that uh -huh. way, you, you can learn. Porque a veces nos enfocamos más en querer aprender el gran montón en un solo día, y ya, si esos verbos, usted eh, de un día para otro, quiere recordarlos, ya poco los va a recordar, right sí, Entonces sí. no se recuerdan, de, de, o, o sea, no, 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 no almacenamos a nuestra memoria a largo plazo, sino que ya es algo a corto plazo. Entonces, por eso le digo, one word a day, that's going to be uh, like, like the best. Y en este caso, comience con los verbos un poco más complicados, que en este caso son los verbos irregulares. Los verbos nice. regulares, los regulares son sencillos porque solo les agrega ed o ied al, al final y ya se convierten en pasado y pasado participio. Right? Uh -huh. Las, pero sí, los que cuestan un poco más son los verbos. Son los que cambian, o sea, que cambian de más, o sea, cambian totalmente, entonces. That's correct, exactly. Entonces, esos son los que nosotros tenemos que prestar un poco más de atención. Al menos comience con los verbos que son más comunes para poderlos utilizar en el día a día, por así decirlo. Right? Uh -huh. Ajá, los verbos como go, como walk, como wake up, sit, stand, open, close, things like that. Entonces, eh, me parece que, que, o sea, insignificante el hecho de aprenderse uno al día, pero sí, créame, funciona bastante y se lo digo por experiencia. Da sí, lo haré ¿eh? porque realmente ese es como uno de, de mis como mis problemas más grandes con el inglés, los verbos. Ya, en, en, ese, en ese modo así se aprende bastante vocabulario, créanme. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y así pues de manera no inconsciente. No right? <ríe> you will try. I'm Vamos a ver si es cierto. <ríe> I know sí. that you, it will be true. Ok, cool. So, con relación a la plataforma, everything fine, right? Vamos a yes. ver. Everything fine. Ok. Cool. So, any other question that you may have? I got to sleep. Me I got to sleep. Ya, ven, ya, Raquel, you can go to sleep. Sí, es. No, igual, me falta toda esta semana. Todos, ah, hay que descansar, que no sé qué. Y nosotros no descansamos. Really? Sí. What is your free day? ¿Cuántos días libres tiene usted? Tres, cada once días. Va, ah, ¿really? Yes. Cada once Trabajamos once días. días corridos y descansamos tres. Y este fin de semana nos toca trabajar. Jesus Sábado God. y domingo. Y de ahí lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves. Pues, well, man, that's difficult. Sí, no, y por eso no está Andrés, porque hoy ahorita está bien topado el pobre. Ah, so that's why, con razón. Sí. sí es, es que, por eso es que veo que sí hay bastantes que no se conectan y está un, un tanto irregular ahorita el grupo. Pero sí, la gran mayoría eh, comentan que es por los trabajos. Y algunos que sí, solo nosotros, se conectan como oyentes, nada más. Nosotros tenemos días así bien, bien, bien pesados a veces con la cuestión de los informes, más que todo. Yes. Nos toca bien pesado, entonces... Sí, por eso ellos, ellos más que todo en el área que ellos están ahorita están, los tienen bien topados. Lo más seguro es que ahorita todavía están en la oficina. Jesus. Y sí. a, a 10 de la noche. Wow. Es, ay, no, a, a veces llegamos hasta las 3 de la mañana en alguna ocasión. Pues... Y el siguiente día hay que estar pues a la hora, a las 8 siempre. What? <risa> no, es no es fácil. Nada. Ese trabajo sí es pesado, entonces. Sí, super, bastante. Super. Bastante, bueno. entonces, por eso. Ya, Mire, es un gran sacrificio. Vamos. Habíamos bastante de la oficina y creo que solo quedamos seis. Mm -hmm. Por eso, porque es no. Es por lo mismo, exacto. O sea, esa, decían, no, ve que esas dos horas yo debería estar durmiendo o estamos trabajando, no nos podemos conectar. Y... Eso de que, de que si faltas y todo eso te pasa un cargo, entonces, ah, no. Preferiría, prefieren mejor no estar. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. 
Y es que realmente sí es bueno, porque yo hay muchas cosas. Bueno, por ejemplo, yo ya entiendo la mayoría de lo que estamos viendo, yes. pero me sirve como un repaso. Exactly, a practice. Ajá, practicar, repaso, um, cuestiones que de verdad hace mucho tiempo, no porque le cuento, soy técnico bilingüe. Ah, ¿really? <laughs> I'm in so con razón, pues. You, you speak the language already. <laughs> Pero, o sea, eso fue que en el 2002. Oh, my God. Uf. Entonces, y desde entonces me he dedicado solo a trabajos de contabilidad. Ah. Entonces, nada que ver con se olvidó. el... Ya, yeah, me se olvidó por ver. completo todo lo que... Sí, había. entonces, o sea, sí... En, Entiendo uh -huh. si sí, lo que hablan, yo lo entiendo eh, las conversaciones y todo perfectamente, pero no es lo mismo. Ya, yeah, I mean, it's not the same. It's not the same exactly. Hace mucho tiempo. No es lo mismo. Pero sí, por eso hacemos el sacrificio. Ya, yeah, man, that's cool. I mean, to make the sacrifice, ¿ok? Cool. Yes. Así que, a modo de compensación, let's go to bed, man. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> Yes, thank you, teacher. Good, man. And let's see you on Monday, okay? See you on Monday. Okay, good weekend. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.